Hey, what's going on, 757 Eats? I am sitting here live with Jeff and Becca of Sand Filler Cafe. How you guys doing? Doing great. great. And they have made some time for us to come in here and talk about their great cafe. They have great reviews. Um, shout out to Steve Shepard. He said a couple times, let you know he was going to try to come through. But uh, we're going to ask them some questions about how everything got started, some of their favorite dishes, the specials, and um, anything else you guys want to know. So you guys ready? We're ready to go. All right, so let me switch this camera around. Get back on this side. All right. So first off, cafe. How long has this cafe been open? The Sampler has been here for approximately 15 years. Wow. Um, I am not the original owner. The original owner, Paula Goldway, had a, had a lot of uh, foresight and nerve to open it when she did, because this part of Ocean View has a history that 12 to 15 years prior uh, was a little more challenged. And uh, she she took the chance of opening this thing up early on before the big wave of development that is ongoing to this day. In the last decade, uh, Ocean View, particularly East Beach, which is where we're at, has had an amazing renaissance. And uh, I bought the Sam Fiddler from Paula about 10 years ago. Um, okay. She had some health issues at the time. But I followed a great act. She had a wonderful business in place. And uh, we, of course, have taken it from there and we believe elevated it uh, with people like my kitchen manager, Becca, over here. Um, and we're, we're that neighborhood diner. We're, we're, we're kind of like the cheer, daytime cheers. I like that. A lot of regulars. And when I came in here, that's the feeling I had. It just felt you know, right down, right at home. I was welcomed immediately. Um, everybody in here is uh, look like they're enjoying their food, just really welcoming. Um, to your point about the challenging area, I used to work at the shipyard and I lived off Pleasure House Road and I used to drive here to go to Newport News every day and to say challenging, uh, that's a compliment. Being generous. Well, yeah, you're being, yeah. <laughs> that's being generous. So for her to have the foresight to do that and you to come in and elevate it the way you have is pretty awesome. Happy to be here. Becca, how long have you been on board? Seven years. Seven years? And what brought you to the Sand Fiddler? Um, well, I gave you a call one day, and I couldn't have been more happy since that day to gave you a call. We just found a common ground with, you know, I like to cook, and we needed one, so it was history after that. Awesome. So really quick before we keep going, um, Rocky Gordon says good afternoon. She's one of our, our followers. She says glad to be here today. Tanya says hello, and Minnie says hello to everyone. So. There's people Hello, everybody. on here. So you gave us a little bit of a backstory on the cafe. So tell about talk to us about like the specials that you guys have and the fan favorites. Well, we we do a lot of specials, of course. And uh, again, I have my kitchen manager here because she comes up with most of the specials. Um, my thing is, again, being a diner, that we try to do diner-esque type specials, if you will. We, in the fall through early spring, we do what we call our thick specials. Monday through Friday, we do a rotating old-fashioned hot plate type special. For example, this past Monday was our homemade meatloaf with mashed potatoes, either green bean or corn. Um, and then the following Monday would be our pot roast with okay. mashed potatoes. So, and then on Tuesday, we do our hamburger steak with mashed potatoes. Wednesday, we do lasagna. Thursday, we do either corned beef and cabbage and ham or ham and cabbage. And then we have several other specials that uh, Becca mostly comes up with. And I can let her tell you about, about a few of those, which are very popular. Yeah. yeah. So we, uh, we have a daily specials every day. Like Jeff said, we always have a um, omelet or some kind of breakfast special. We always have a burger special every day. And to get a little bit more involved with that, we, uh, we like you said, we try to keep it a little diner-esque around here. So um, we just generally take what we have on hand and make some really cool omelets out of it. We have, Give them an example. Like a, an Irish omelet, it's got corned beef and Swiss cheese in it. That's a favorite um, when we put that one on special. We also have um, banana bread French toast. That's a really huge special. People that sounds that good. Yeah, we like to put some bananas on top of that one. Square it off with some maple syrup and it's good to go. And we also have um, salads on special every day. We kind of do the same thing with that where we just use what we've got on hand to keep the diner as. Uh, 
time salad. We have stuff that's uh, special and catered just to the fall. We have turkey and raisins on a fall salad. And, uh, so, the, uh, if, excuse me yes. if you don't mind. Uh, yeah. you know, I wanted to mention because we are starting to get more of a demand uh, for vegetarian style things. Okay. You know, so um, we are going to be tweaking the menu a little bit and we will be offering um, it's the counterpart a lot of people have heard of the impossible burger which yeah. is a vegetarian based burger we have what we call the beyond burger which is pretty much the same type thing and it's delicious if you're trying to go a little more plant-based i know a lot of people have seen the uh, film game changers we are going to have some options there we have the, the beyond burger again which i've had and love uh, we will be offering uh, veg vegetable sausage patties gluten-free pancakes wow. uh, we have uh, almond creamer so we we do have some choices there for the demand that is growing in, in that uh, aspect of the industry when's that beyond burger going to be available officially Three weeks we'll have the menu renovations oh, we man. do have it on site now so you can request it I might have to request one before I leave you got it awesome for question for you kitchen manager Becca yes. how did you get interested in, in, in cooking like what led you down that path to to want to do what you do on a daily basis now um, honestly I kind of just fell into it it was something that I, I picked up a job um, in North Carolina doing it and then I moved here and it's just something that I've loved doing since I started and you know it's just kind of grown on me and, you know playing with food and figuring out different things that go together is just something that I really enjoy doing and not only that I just love food in general so <laughs> it works because we have that diner -esque thing going on with the specials so um, Jeff gives me a little leeway as far as you know trying new things out and he's cool with it and he lets me do things like that which is what I really love about it is you know we get to try new things and put different things on specials so. and before I ask you another question Jeff Nikki says hi Eddie Edie says hi and Maria says hi to everyone hello everyone I do okay. want to say before we finish this interview that we are part of the team. We have an amazing team here and a lot of people that have been here, as our regulars know, for many years. And I certainly would not want to leave out our general manager, Jenny, uh, who also, you know, is the lead kitchen person. Her and Becca work hand in hand, to say the least, but she has been here over 10 years. Wow. And again... We have just a phenomenal team here. And the thing we emphasize is that we have a lot of fun here, but we take the job seriously. And that, that mix seems to work real well for us. And uh, we think our guests feel that as well. One thing I wanted to ask you was, you know, you said you bought this restaurant about 10 years ago. What, what got you interested in owning a restaurant? Well, I, I grew up in it. My mother's side of the family has owned, rest, had owned restaurants and nightclubs and bars and everything in between. So I have a family history in this area of places. Some people would, would remember the Jolly Roger in mm -hmm. this area. It's, it's a famous bar that my great uncle owned. Uh, my uncle owned what was called the Lancer Inn on the corner of Hampton Boulevard and Little Creek Road. I could go on and on, but I, I did grow up in it. And I was just fortunate enough when I got out of college to uh, get into it myself. Um, this is my fifth place. It's the only one I have at the moment. but. I got into it myself early on as an owner, and uh, I was one of those people that was so lucky landing a job and doing what I love to do. Awesome. And here I am 33 years later in my career, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Love being in Ocean View. I'm a Grammy High School graduate, which is, you know, this is a Grammy district, so mm -hmm. it's been a real treat owning this place. We love our guests. You have a good time doing it. Last question for you guys is if I was coming, which today's my first day, and I'm going to get that Beyond Burger, but if I was coming to San Fiddler for the first time, what would you think would be a good dish for someone to try? All right, Gerard, that's like asking a Beatle fanatic like I am what my favorite <laughs> Beatles song is. But 
With that being said, <laughs> I am a big corned beef hash guy, and uh, I do love the um, the uh, Irish eggs Benedict instead of a traditional Benedict, which comes with Canadian bacon, comes with corned beef hash. That's people ask me that question, and that's usually the first one that I pick. That would definitely be one. We have great Rubens when I want a sandwich. Our Rubens are fantastic. I know Becca's got a few of her own favorites. Mm. Hands down, uh, chicken and waffles. We have the best waffles around. So, and it comes with a nice raspberry chipotle sauce. Which Becca makes. <laughs> Tell me what you were saying before. You said that you, you know, on your days off, you might not necessarily want to come to work, so you've tried other waffles and they just don't cut it, right? They don't. They don't. Do it. We have. Um, we're not one. naming names. Right? Yeah, we're not naming we're not names. Naming names but, you, know, you can go somewhere else and get a waffle, but it just doesn't have the same. It's not as big, or you know, it just doesn't taste the same. And we have like the perfect recipe for waffles, and when you put that chicken with it, it's just over the top. <laughs> awesome. And that raspberry chipotle. Oh, yeah. When we when we decided to put chicken and waffles on the menu, we knew a lot of places were doing it, so we wanted to add something to it. And in addition to the seasoning that they put on the chicken, uh, we came, we, we tried different sauces, and we came up with this raspberry chipotle sauce. And uh, as of recent, we used to not make it. We found the company that had this raspberry chipotle sauce, but they discontinued it. And Becca, of course, being the wonderful cook she is, researched it. And it's, in my opinion, it's better than it's ever been. I believe it. We make we make mostly everything from scratch here. Not that's everything, cool. but mostly everything. And that's good, especially with a lot of places that don't. Um, really quick, Nicole says hi. Helen says hi, everyone. So we got some people. People honestly, are actually watching this. Huh? Oh yeah, like people. And and the thing is, we're gonna probably get you at least a thousand views. Wow. on this video not to mention the ones that are live we have a really good right. base of people um they really engage we really appreciate them they really appreciate us and they like to hear these stories um really quick uh is there anything that's plated that we could just get one view of really quick well i can go check I don't yeah know if there's anything coming out let me i can go check on that real quick and really quick i can show you guys around really quick show you what it's like to be in here you want to give me the tour becca's going to give us the tour all right. As you can see, we have a very uh, beachy feel in here. I'm actually going to get on this side of you because okay. the lighting, the lighting is uh. Right, thank there you. we go. That's better. Beachy feel in here when you walk in, you're greeted. Who is this young lady? This is Gigi. This is uh, Gigi. Gigi. Lisa. We keep it in the family too. This is my mother-in-law. It's uh, been been with us uh, since we took over. Awesome. So you're greeted as soon as you come in the door, so you get that nice friendly feel as soon as you walk in, and uh, somebody will come and greet you and seat you wherever you'd like. We have a bar. There's a couple regulars getting ready to <laughs> yeah. leave right now. Are you okay with this? Yeah. Say hi. Can you tell us why you come to Sand Filler Cafe? We love it. And they own the art gallery right next, next door. door so. Oh, you do? Yeah. All right, so this is kind of like family to you then. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I have awesome. a key to their place. You do? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Play with they you. They need me to, you know, do. So we actually loan them chairs when uh, John has meetings over there for other interests that he's in. We loan them chairs. Mm -hmm. where we have great neighbors here. The jiu-jitsu uh, place Loved. next door. Just awesome. a wonderful shopping center and area to be in. Yeah, I'd say the awesome. whole area is pretty tight knit. Yep. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And I like that. How did you guys come up with the idea of have everything on the walls These the way you did? These are all very local artists. Yeah, very local artists. And mm. all the proceeds go to the artists. We don't take anything out of it. Oh, that's really yeah, nice. I just thought it would be a cool, funky thing to support local artists. And so Let me, we've got some customers. Yeah, we got some in customers. Right in. So we don't we're stop. Gonna, we're we going to get out of their way. Do you guys have anything plated yet? Or I, not, not right at now. the moment. I okay. think it's just a long time. I don't think there's anything coming out right this moment. We got no. some fresh baked cookies in. But you Come on into the sand fiddler and we'll plate it for you. Yeah, there's some of Becca's homemade chocolate chip You cookies. made those? I did. Oh, I got to have one. All right. <laughs> you got it, Gerard. And the banana nut bread. Banana bread. Yes, ma'am. And Jean... Gene says, uh, love you guys. Gene Thompson. Tom? Yeah, Gene Thompson. Hey, Gene. And uh, Minnie says, seems to be a nice place. Minnie, it's a definitely a nice place, definitely a home feel, and uh, really nice people. Glad I was connected with you guys, and you guys allowed us to come in here and tell a little bit more about your story, and we look forward to coming back. 
fantastic. We look forward to having you. All right, guys, we're signing out. Cheers. Wait, bye, Gigi. <laughs>